Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, what we have here follows what we have a raised to power m minus n, which is same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. As this, we can write this as h raised to power x over a raised to power 1 equals to 60 from here. Then, this same thing as a raised to power x over a raised to power 1 as 8 then equals to 60 over 1 here. When we cross multiply here, 8 raised to power 1 times 8, same thing as 8 raised to power x, then equals to 60 times 8 here. And from here, we can take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 8 raised to power x equals to log. 60 times 8 here. And from here, we apply the power law of log here. When we have log m raised to power p, this is the same thing as p log m. Then here, this becomes x log x equals to log 60 times 8 here. Next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. Divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. And here, log 8 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 60 times 8 over log 8. Then, what we have here follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to log 60 plus log 8 over log 8. Then, next step here. We separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 16 over log 8 plus log 8 over log 8. That is here log 8 comes each other. We have one left and this becomes x equals to log 16 over log 8 plus 1. Then, next step here, we can express 60 as 4 times 15. And what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 8 here. Then, plus 1. What we have here follows from the law of logarithm again, and we can separate this as x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 8, then plus 1 here. That is, we also separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8. Sorry, we have 15 here, then plus log 15 over log 8 plus 1, which implies from here, we can also rewrite 15 as 3 times 5. And what we have becomes x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 times 5 over log 8 plus 1 here. And also from here, this follows the law of logarithm and we can also write it as x now equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 8 
plus one. That is, we also separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log four over log eight plus log three over log eight plus log five over log eight plus one. And next step here, we can write this as x equals to log four can be expressed as two square, then over eight can be expressed as two raised to power three. Then also plus here we have log three over log two raised to power three. Then plus also log 5 over log 2 raised to power 3, then plus 1 here. And when we apply the power of log 2 comes here, 3 here, then also from here and here, and we have x now equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2, then plus here we have log 3 over 3 log 2 then plus log 5 over 3 log 2 plus 1 and here log 2 cancel each other we have 2 over 3 left and we can say this is x equals to we can write this one first that is 1 plus 2 over 3 here now then plus here we can express as 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 then plus also 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 and also here yeah, 1 plus 2 over 3 same thing as 5 over 3 so x now equals to 5 over 3 here yeah, plus 1 over 3 times log 3 base 2 from change of this here yeah. Then also plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. And here we have 3 comma as the SCM. So we can write this as 3 here. Yeah. Then we are left with 5 plus log 2, log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as 5. Plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Now let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 here and what we have becomes 8 raised to power 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 3 then minus 1 up here is it equals to 60 on this side and then here we can bring this power together as one and finding the SCM up here which is 3 and here we still have 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 then minus 3 here now is it equals to 60 from here and here when we bring 5 minus 3 together that will be 2 so 8 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 here yeah. is equals to 60 from here and next step we can express it here as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 over 3 here yeah. is it equals to 60 from here and this power here multiplies 3 cancel each other and what we have left becomes 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 is it equal to 60 here 
and from the law of indices we can write this as 2 square times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2 is it equals to 60 here then 2 square here that's 4 times here this follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is the same thing as b that is here we have 3 then here we have 5 is it equals to 60 here of course 4 times 3 12 times 5 that's 60 which is equals to 60 from here now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we conclude that x equals to 5 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it some to and put your comment see you next class and bye for now